Ooh, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Jake Paul, FaZe Banks, Alyssa Violet, and all this other stuff. But you know how we do here at The Rewired Soul? There's some valuable mental health lessons to be learned from it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about trying to help you improve your mental health and a lot of that is through relationships. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell because I make a ton of videos. I've been recapping all of the Shane Dawson episodes. I do so many videos. This is my second video today and after this, I'm recording number three. So yeah, let's talk about this situation going on but first let me say this so I wish my last video I just did about Katie Morton and Shane Dawson would have gone up a long time ago right there's no losses there's only learning experiences uh, this was not Zach's fault this is my fault well no no why why am I taking responsibility for that right like you ever apologize for things that you don't need to apologize for so here's the skinny on what happened the hotel internet sucked all right, it sucked. It took like hours to send Zach this file. So anyways, I ain't apologizing. They need to apologize to me. I'm just kidding, they don't owe me anything. All right, so I'm back in my hotel room. I'm sorry for the yellow tent. I don't know if that's something that Zach can fix in his editing, he's amazing, so we'll see. All right, anyways, back to while we're here. So through this episode, you know, Shane interviewed Erica mainly. Um, and he also had a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with Jake. We're going to see more one-on-one -on -one time with Jake, I think, in the next episode. I don't know how it's going to be, but anyways, we a lot of people have been wondering about the FaZe Banks, uh, Jake Paul situation with Alyssa Violet. So those of you who don't follow this drama, like I don't, the only reason I know about it is because of my boy, Philip DeFranco, covering stuff that people are interested in, is basically Erica Costell's assistant was at a nightclub um allegedly phase banks like attacked her and put her in a chokehold she got a big bruise on her neck so basically the girl your assistant yeah megan, megan yeah so she said that she was at a club phase banks assaulted her yeah. choked her or something and then it turned into this whole thing because people thought you like planned it it was fake and right. it was just like a fake assault phase. yeah so i know what i think happened and then Jake Paul, the assistant, and Erica, they made a video about it. And then FaZe Banks and Alyssa, and I don't know, like Ricegum was in that video? Like, why was he in that video? And they claimed that Jake, um, he assaulted Alyssa, all right? So there is a lot going on here. So I'm gonna break this down in a few different ways, and this, this video, like, I don't know, I wanna say it's for young people, but my primary audience is between like 18 and 34, and I think like every, Everybody watching this video, like, I don't care how old you are, but like, primarily like young partiers and things like that, like, I don't know, it, this is hard, now I'm gonna sound like Papa Chris, the rewired soul, you know what I mean? But like, I, I hope to teach you guys lessons, you know, from my partying days, and, and it's just weird and awkward, because I know when anybody older than me told me anything, I'm like, screw you, old man, you don't know, uh. right? So, take with this what you will, but I hope you can learn from these experiences. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the whole party scene, okay? Just going out and partying, like the best lesson that I learned, and I, I was forced into learning this, okay? Like, stay with me, everybody. The less you party, the less dumb crap happens, okay? The less drama happens, like, it, it just minimizes, all right? So because I was uh, an alcoholic and a drug addict, like I partied constantly. And there was constantly drama because that's what happens when people get drunk. Friends fight friends, friends fight strangers, people put uh, Erica's assistant in a chokehold, allegedly, like dumb stuff happens. I'm not saying don't go out, don't go have fun. I'm not even telling you not to drink, but I just want you to be aware, like if you are going out and partying every single weekend and your life seems chaotic, it's probably because of that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just something that you need to identify. Like there's nothing wrong with just chilling at home. Like there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like, so I'll share some of my personal experience. So like I said, I used to party all the time, dumb stuff happened, I got in fights, people fought with me, I fought with strangers, just insane stuff, right? Well, 
after getting sober, like, I'm sober, but like, I still hang out with anybody, you know? And I, one, one thing that's great, and I'm gonna make some videos about like, why sober people are awesome. Like, one thing that's great about me is like, you hang out with me, you always got a designated driver, baby. You always got one. So this was maybe two or three years ago. And some friends were at a bar, they were drinking heavily, and they hit me up. They're like, Chris, we, uh, we need to go home. We're too drunk to drive. Can you help us out, right? I don't, I, as I was saying that, I'm like, why didn't they just get an Uber? But anyways, I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. It was like a night when I didn't have my son, and I'm like, whatever, I'll go pick you up. And oh my lord. So I go down there, like if any of you sober people have ever done this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyways, I go down there, and like when I show up, like chaos was just going off, right? Like, um, like it was, it was some of my female friends, and like as I'm walking up the stairs of this like two-story bar, one of them's like coming downstairs screaming and cussing at you know another one of the friends, and then like it was like about to get physical, and guys were like pulling them off, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh my lord, what is happening? And then like it carries on outside, and then they're like cussing at each other. One's in the parking lot, one's up on the balcony, and then this other girl in the friend group, she just like drops her pants and starts like urinating in the parking lot and I'm sitting there and I'm just I just can't help but think like I do not miss this at all like I just didn't like nothing about that was like exciting for me or like pleasurable you know and it it made me wonder too and this was just a few years ago right like it made me wonder like how did I ever find this kind of chaos fun but I know the answer to that because I had a very chaotic life, I felt comfortable in the chaos. So anyways, I just wanted to use that as a learning experience or learning opportunity for all of you who are young, you party a lot, like, you gotta start looking at your life and auditing it and saying, okay, like, what what is in my control and what is out of my control? Like, you can't, you can't control whether or not your friends act a fool when you guys go out, but you can choose whether or not you go out with your friends who act a fool. And I hope that makes sense, all right? So the next thing I want to talk about is these next two topics are going to kind of blend in with each other. So when Jake's talking about it, he talks about how, you know, they, you know, they made that video and he took a little bit, a little bit of fault and then he put a lot back on FaZe Banks and Alyssa. I have known this girl since I was like 13. This has been like seven plus years of friendship, which is what makes this so hard for me to do. I did not see you assault anybody that night. And Shane being the empathetic person he is, he's sympathizing with Jake in that moment, but we're about to see him with Alyssa and I guarantee Shane is going to empathize with Alyssa. It's kind of like when Shane was with um, Tana Mojo and then uh, Michael Weist, right? Like when he was talking to Michael, he, he sympathized with Michael. When he was with uh, Tana, he sympathized with her. Like that's just how, how Shane is and hopefully he works on that. But anyways, what I'm getting at is like Jake, Jake definitely needs to grow up. Like he was just like talking and he had these little like, puppy dog eyes and he's just like yeah and they said some things about me hurting Alyssa and, and and it wasn't true like grow up Jake like grow up like yeah that sucks luckily like no charges were pressed and it just like I don't know fizzled away oh you lost some subscribers like nah, whatever but like like they instigated it and this is another thing like quit hanging around with chaotic people like you see what I mean but like Jake deserves no sympathy for that situation. Like, they they kick that thing off. Like, I understand that these daily vloggers and YouTubers and you know, whatever, but when you are accusing somebody of physical assault and you have millions and millions of people, like, you need to think things through. And this goes into the second topic about this. Jake admits, Jake admits, and even Erica admits, like, okay, uh, okay, whatever, I'll say this. Erica's being held on this like gigantic pedestal, right? Like she's the one who's gonna save Jake and fix Jake and all this other stuff. Like, don't give her too much credit here, all right? Because I would argue that, you know, even though she does tell him how it is sometimes, like she kind of feeds into it sometimes, right? Like there is no chance in like, in the world that I would let a friend with that many subscribers make those kind of allegations because you saw both Jake and Erica both say, yeah, we don't really know it's true if it's true, but we think it was. Like, what? Wait, so what actually happened? Yeah. Do you guys believe her? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I believe something happened for sure. Something definitely happened? We like, don't know what, what happened? happened? Like, I don't know if I can trust yeah. her really, but. 
What? Like you just accused somebody of assaulting a woman. Like what? So this is why, you guys ready for this? This is why I talk about mindfulness so, so, so much. Mindfulness helps us respond to situations rather than react. Like Jake reflecting on it, like in the whole hindsight is 2020 thing, like reflecting, he talks about how he could have handled that better. He talks about how he could have reached out to, you know, FaZe and, you know, and because he retaliated, FaZe Banks retaliated. So I was just looking at the comments on my other video and I mentioned brain science and somebody mentioned brain science. You know what? Zach, edit this out if you have to. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to find her name so I can shout her out because that's what I am as a creator. I have a family here and I like talking to all of you. Uh, so Kelsey Murphy. Kelsey Murphy said, you should do more videos on brain science. I love it. Well, Kelsey Murphy, this is for you. So for, for those of you who don't understand how the brain works, there's a part of your brain called the amygdala. This is your, your survival instincts, right? It's where the fight, flight, or freeze comes in. So what happens is, is when, you're, when your pride gets hurt, when your ego gets hurt, when someone in your circle gets wrong, your amygdala goes off and it makes you want to attack, right? So what happens is, is that you attack, but if the second you attack somebody, their amygdala goes off. So they attack back. And then you get this never ending cycle of retaliation because the first person did it, the second person responds, it triggers the other person's amygdala and it goes back and forth. That's why revenge and retaliation is just such a sick cycle, right? That's why we gotta calm down and learn how to respond rather than react. So Jake needs, I hope that was a learning experience for Jake and he can calm down and not jump the gun on this stuff but anyways that's all i got like let me know down in the comments below like do you live a crazy party lifestyle or if you're older and you left that behind like let's talk about it like can you relate to what i was sharing okay let me know in the comments but that's all i got for you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new again i always make videos to help you out with your mental health so make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because i make so many videos i'm turning this camera off swapping the batteries and recording another one all right so i love you and i will see you next time time.